Hi, Mr. Pepper here, and in this little video, I'm going to have a quick chat to you about pressure and hydraulics. So, before we start thinking about hydraulics, let's just remind ourselves what pressure is. Okay, so pressure is actually a force acting over a certain area. Okay, so pressure is a force per unit area, it's the force acting over a certain area which is, coincidentally enough, also the equation to work out pressure, okay? So pressure here is equal to force measured in newtons divided by area, which is always measured, as far as we're concerned, in meters squared, okay? Now, that gives us a uh, unit, obviously, there, and it gives us a unit of newton meters per meter squared. You can see that. You've got newtons divided by meters squared, so we're getting a unit of newtons per meter squared. But we can also... Uh, refer to, to pressure in terms of pascals because one newton per meter squared is actually the same as one pascal shown by the symbol capital P little a there okay so now we know a bit about pressure we can think about how to apply it for a purpose well hydraulic systems of which this is one here hydraulic system okay they rely on the fact that the liquid they contain is virtually incompressible which means if you squash it if you exert a force on one part of the liquid that force is going to be transmitted to all other parts of the liquid so based on this we can produce hydraulic pressure systems and this is how they work okay a force is exerted on uh, an oil filled cylinder like this one here and it has to be oil because if you used water you know all your metal parts are going to go rusty and the oil also helps to sort of keep it lubricated okay but the uh, force that's applied on this oil filled cylinder results in pressure in the liquid okay and as we said this pressure is transmitted throughout the liquid okay so all the pressure this is the pressure is being transmitted all through here including into this second oil filled cylinder over here okay now when the pressure is exerted on the oil in here it forces this piston okay making it move and the trick of it all is is that the uh, cross-sectional surface area of our first cylinder is much smaller if you look than the cross-sectional surface area of our second cylinder so what what does that mean well let's do the math so here's a problem you might get in the exam. Um, it says, in a hydraulic pressure system, a force of 25 newtons is applied to a piston with a surface area of 0 0.5 meters squared. So I've got 25 newtons pushing down onto this uh, piston, the surface area of which is 0 0.5 meters squared. And then it says the area of the other piston is 1.5 meters squared. Okay, and what they're asking me is to calculate firstly the pressure that is being transmitted by the force being applied over here, and also what is the force being applied to this second piston. Okay, so for this, we're going to use the equation that we've talked about before pressure equals force over area. Okay, so in piston one, I'm applying 25 newtons of force over an area of 0 0.5 meters squared, so I can calculate my pressure. With a little bit of mass there, I've got 25 newtons being applied over an area of 0 0.5 meters squared, which gives me an answer of 50 newtons per meter squared, or I can express that as 50 pascals. Okay, so what I've done here is I've worked out the pressure in the fluid. Okay, and remember that pressure is now being transmitted throughout the fluid. So the uh, 50 pascals of pressure that we've just said we've um, produced over here. Okay, it's transmitted through the liquid, resulting in a force being exerted onto the piston in the second cylinder. But what's the size of that force? Well, the pressure of 50 pascals in the fluid is the same throughout, but in piston 2, we've got a much bigger surface area than we had in piston 1 over here. Okay, so a quick rearrangement of our um, formula, like so, will show us that if pressure equals force over area, force is equal to pressure multiplied by the area and if we substitute in our values we've worked out the pressure which was 50 pascals we know that the surface area of this piston is 1.5 50 multiplied by 1.5 is 75 newtons okay so from our original force of 25 newtons we've increased it to a much greater force of 75 newtons we can therefore say that um, hydraulic systems are what we call force multipliers okay we put a certain amount of force in we get a much bigger force out so with a really small effort 
in at one end, we get a much larger load being lifted at the other end. Okay, so this is just a quick little extra note that I thought might be important, okay? Although I've already told you that uh, pressure is measured in pascals and it's the same thing as newtons per meter squared. In a recent question in the exam, they actually gave the surface area of the piston in centimeters squared rather than meters squared. And they actually asked for the answer, they asked for the pressure to be given in newtons per centimeter squared. So just a reminder, if in an exam question they give you the area in centimetres squared and then ask for the answer in newtons per centimetre squared, you use the figure as it is. But if in the exam question they give you the value uh, for the area in centimetres squared but ask for the answer in pascals, you first got to convert this centimetres squared into metres squared by dividing it by 100. Okay, So look what they're actually asking you for before you carry out your calculation. So that is hydraulics and pressure and how we can use hydraulic pressure systems to give us a force multiplier effect and we can lift a much heavier load than the amount of effort we put in to start with. Okay, any problems or any questions about that, don't hesitate to tweet me at Mr underscore Pepper on Twitter and I'll get back to you ASAP. Thanks for stopping by.